Hi guys, what's up? Welcome to another video of Mega Architectural Mantras. I was thinking about going in for a question answer round because I have been getting a lot of questions from a lot of you people, but I haven't been making any videos on, you know, or I haven't been able to answer to all the questions. Halaki, uh, I try to, uh, you know, answer to as many questions as possible uh, over the comment section only but every time it is not possible to answer to each and every question because uh, I hope you understand there are hell lot of questions coming up to me. So today we are going to take up some very interesting questions which I have received from all you people and uh, I have picked up certain uh, questions which I feel is very relevant and it's going to be very useful for the rest of the crowd. So without waiting let's hop into the question and see what are these questions and how you can benefit from these. So the first question today is from Sahil Ibrahim. Sahil is asking, architectural engineering four years complete person use architect any problem? So basically he wants to say that if you complete architectural engineering in four years, then can you practice as an architect? So I'm sure that this is what he wants uh, to understand. So first uh, Sahil let me tell you that there is no term called architectural engineering. Engineering is a totally separate field and architecture is a totally separate field. They are way apart from each other and uh, if you have done an engineering maybe a civil engineering or so even then you are not uh, you know eligible to practice like an architect or use the name of an architect in your business or any of that sort of thing because for that you need to complete complete B, five years of BR course after which you need to enroll under Council of Architecture COA get your license number and only then you can practice as an architect. Uh, Hardik Rathor is asking uh, in the beginning how to get small projects how to market myself as good architect. So Hardik uh, a small uh, uh, suggestion to you is that and there are a lot of videos that I have created and you can just go into the i button and also watch those videos uh, if you feel that uh, you they are going to be any help for you but over here I'm going to just uh, answer you this in very short is that in the beginning uh, you can get small projects through your known people they are the only one who can trust on you and you know give give you some of uh, these uh, their projects to do uh, but you know beyond earning money from them i would say that uh, uh, start you know try to work as hard as possible for their project give it a very good shape and uh, you know try to complete that project with your whole heart and soul only then those good projects will be added on to your portfolio and you can actually market them out to your future clients so that's a small suggestion that i would like to give to you uh, sir could you please okay so madhavi chaudhary is asking uh, sir could you please tell me that should i do masters or not uh, and if i do then which field should i opt for uh, Madhavi, uh, mas going in for masters or not going for masters is totally a personal choice. Uh, you know, people go in for masters for specialization after doing a course in uh, a bachelor's degree in architecture. Uh, if a person wants to get specialized in some specific field, only then they go in for a masters. For example, if you uh, are interested in urban planning or urban design, or you are you are very much interested in doing landscape uh, you know landscape masters in landscape then you can go in for a specialized master's degree or you want to just divert from you know architecture and go in for construction management or that kind of a field then you can go in for a master's uh, if at all you want to you know practice uh, architecture as a core subject as a core profession then i think br is more than enough in any case, people go in for masters for uh, a self-satisfaction that okay, they are a master degree holder. So that's what I have to tell you. Uh, apart from this, uh, Rajat Bhaskar Sasi is asking, Sir, is there any international recognized certification course in architecture? Please share, sir. Uh, so internationally recognized certification course in architecture. So why do you want a certification course in architecture if you really want to do architecture you should go in for a full time five years br 
degree uh, because that is going to add value to your future. A certification course does not, uh, you know, add up to anything. Uh, yes, if you have done your five years uh, bachelor's degree in architecture and you want to do a certification course to add a value to your, you know, your learning and your, uh, you want to enhance yourself as a professional, then uh, there are a lot of certification courses which uh, uh, is, is offered to you by SEPT Ahmedabad, SPA New Delhi. Uh, there are master's uh, degrees, uh, next level courses, which you can actually opt from a lot of institutes in India as well as from abroad. Uh, but first of all, I would say that always go in for a complete five years bachelor's degree in architecture and then move on to the next level of certification. Uh, so the next question is from Nizami Asraf and she asks, Hello, sir. I am from Vadodara. My question to you is that I'm a bit confused as I am a I'm a freshie. I have a group of two to three friends who are willing to do freelancing. So I'm confused that should I join them or get myself job experience first? So uh, Nizami Ashraf, uh, very good question and I would like to answer this to you. Uh, but generally I always uh, suggest to all the young people that you know before knowing the profession of architecture don't jump into it. Just the five years of degree is not enough for you to start practicing. There are many more aspects to the business of architecture uh, and you should learn them before jumping into it. First uh, is, you know, and I have made a video on this that why is working under an experienced architecture architect or an architectural firm is very important before you start your own practice you can just follow the i button and you see that there are uh, you know very obvious reasons that you should actually practice under uh, uh, an architecture firm uh, who has which which has a substantial amount of experience in the field maybe an architecture firm which has you know more than five ten years of experience in the field and has been doing some good projects work under them get the hold of some big scale projects and uh, know how the business is running in their firm watch the uh, you know leaders in the firm how they are tackling the business in a, on a day to day basis how they are handling big, big scale multiple projects so that gives you a very good uh, uh, exposure to how to handle the business of architecture once you do that and then you start off with your business and architecture you will see that the flow is much more easier you know how to take the step on you know processes how to take care of compliances how to tackle your clients uh, how what are the different steps of projects and if you jump at a very early stage, you will make a lot of mistakes, which will eventually make you lose clients because they will not be happy with your work. Uh, designing is just one aspect of this business, but there are many more things to learn about the business of architecture. And I think you should take care of that thing too. Uh, so Santosh, we move on to the next question. So Santosh uh, Sharma is asking, Hello, sir. I have a doubt on which I want your view. What is the difference between architecture and building design? Because as we are doing architectural design in our studio, but ultimately it is building design. Uh, that's a very difficult question, Santosh. And let me first frame the question properly. So you want to ask that, uh, what is the difference between architecture and building design? There is no difference between architecture and building design because architecture is the term used for the process of building for designing a building. So basically, when you design a complete building, that whole process is called, you know, architecture. OK, uh, because when you design a building, it involves the uh, entire aspect of art you're setting up. Uh, the designing framework for a building and it also includes technology because uh, while designing a building and uh, you know taking it from the ground level till the top requires a lot of technology too so when you uh, you know include art into technology that totally becomes architecture and that is the term used when you are actually designing a building so building designing is basically architecture i hope you've got my point 
uh, and and I tried to make it very simple for you. Uh, so we move on to the next question. Anyways, I love this question. I, I think that that's something very interesting that you've asked. Uh, Sir, doing B art from IIT Roorkee is worth scope placement, etc. Okay. Uh, well, well, uh, Lavkush Chauhan has asked this question, and uh, Lavkush, let me answer you one thing: that uh, definitely it's worth if you can do your uh, degree from IIT Roorkee. It's a very prestigious university uh, uh, institute for for uh, doing a bachelor's degree degree in architecture. And if you are getting a chance to do your bachelor's degree from IIT Roorkee, nothing like it. But your scope of becoming an architect, of becoming a good architect and getting the best in life as a professional does not limit you if you don't get a chance in IIT Roorkee and you get a chance somewhere else in India or maybe abroad. Because ultimately, the people who are successful in the field are not people defined by the institute or university from which they pass out. It's defined by the hard work that they have done, done in learning architecture and implementing the same in the field, uh, you know, and uh, uh, making use of the same to grow as a professional. Okay, so if they have really done a, you know, hard work in learning architecture and putting it into their business, I think they have really gone ahead. It is not mandatory from which university or which institute they have done their BR. So the next question comes from uh, Shreyash Bujbal and he's asking, Hello sir, I have a question that the sketches or plans are said to be made by college where by with pencil or by softwares on computer. As I heard that it's by hand for starting two years and three years by software. Is that true? If not, how it is? So I think what he's trying to say is that uh, he has heard that uh, you know, the drawings which are made in architecture in college are by hand for the first three years and thereby it is made by software. So Shreyash, uh, let me tell you that uh, uh, yes, uh, there are uh, the initial years you need to actually do all the drawings with hand and you sh you'll have to practice uh, doing these drawings a lot with your hand because uh, that is going to help you creating better designs in the future. Uh, so in the initial year years of your uh, degree in architecture, you will have to uh, do a lot of, you know, learn a lot of technical side of drawings, uh, how to use your T scales, how to use your, uh, you know, compass, how to use the different uh, other, uh, you know, uh, tools which are there for drafting. Uh, you will have to do a lot of uh, you know sketching using your pencils your staedtlers your uh, you know inking pens and a lot of things which are necessary uh, to do architectural drawings and it will eventually help you uh, understanding how to make better architectural drawings uh, with the help of you know your own hand uh, and using these different tools and later on uh, it will develop your acumen of uh, making architectural technical drawings to such a level that when you start using softwares it will become much easier for you to perceive the drawing and make them in, you know and convert them into uh, the softwares like AutoCAD and uh, you know 3D Max which you use for your different design things uh, you will be able to do those much easier and faster because by that time your visualization skills will also improve because drawings help you a lot uh, you know uh, developing your visualization skills uh, let us move down to the next question uh, we have Riti Patel and she's asking can I do interior design after B arc so Riti uh, let me tell you that five years of degree course in architecture prepares you well uh, as an interior designer as well because you particularly have subjects where you are taught interior designing uh, in in the five years of curriculum and still then if you are having your uh, you know acumen and you're having your interest in 
interior designing specifically and you don't have much interest with architecture then you can actually go in for a specialization course in a uh, master's degree in uh, uh, interior designing as well uh, or, or a certification course in interior designing whatever you feel is best for you uh, to enhance your knowledge in interior designing go in depth into that entire subject uh, and uh, develop yourself as an interior designer uh, in in any ways there are even bachelor's degree nowadays which offers you uh, to uh, become an interior designer from the very uh, you know very uh, starting time so if you want to opt for a bachelor's degree you can actually do that too okay so the last question uh, and that's not a question typically it's a comment and uh, i'm reading out the comment and i'm really sorry and i really feel sad that these kind of comments are coming in don't join b arc course and spoil your life it's worthless go for diploma in architecture this enough have you by mistake already done a br go for pg and change your profession the great profession of architecture does not command respect which it deserves anymore so to everyone watching this video today and who really uh, you know support architecture as a profession uh, let me tell you that don't get into these kind of comments and people who are so negative about things uh, because i would uh, and i really feel that uh, people who have actually lost their game can do such kind of comments uh, and who have really not come up in life can you know make such kind of comments uh, if you are a hard worker and you know how to come up in life be it in any profession you will eventually come up in life and do good with whatever profession you are good in uh, there are good architects there are good uh, interior designers in the field and they are doing it because they are good and they are hard working uh, people who are not doing it good does not mean that they have you know uh, they are, the, the profession is bad uh, so uh, and let me tell you that in any profession be it IT or be it acting or be it fine arts you will see that there are strugglers who are not being able to make it up to the top and you will see that there are uh, you know successful people who have started from the very scratch through their hard work and through their learning they have gone you know gone up the ladder and do, you know doing very good with the profession that they are in uh, even with architecture you know there are people who have literally started from scratch did not have any architectural background and today they are top in the ladder and doing very well and they, they are there because they had the keen interest of learning architecture uh, you know implementing it to the best in their practice and working hard for the clients and that's why or or in jobs uh, they have worked hard for the employer with whom they were working uh, slogged through their initial years and and with time within eight nine years they are doing well in their career and that's that's the only fund and that's the only mantra that if you don't work hard you will eventually not get the fruit that you deserve so uh, i have no hard feelings for anyone but please don't defame any kind of profession because every profession is good and every uh, profession deserves respect so uh, you know don't try to defame any kind of profession because there are people successful in every profession and there are people who are struggling in any every pro profession uh, hope today's session was useful for everyone and uh, uh, my only uh, reason of bringing up this last point was that please support the uh, you know profession of architecture if you love architecture uh, don't try to defame it and uh, you know try to support it in every way possible uh, people who are really facing trouble uh, in the profession can always get in touch with us we will try to you know solve your problem uh, just write down your comment you know join me in the instagram account dm me your problems and uh, we'll try to resolve it uh, you know do follow me on instagram and you will actually uh, uh, you can actually dm me in in the instagram account with your problems if any uh, we'll try to sort out your problem as much as possible uh, so people who are new uh, to the channel do subscribe to our channel press the bell icon so that you're notified every time when we are coming up with a new video and if you have liked the video do share it do like it thank you stay good stay safe take care